Hey, what's up everybody? We are back with some more Dungeon Quest. Um, one thing I need to fix from the last video is I forgot to roll on Crutzbeck's um, Lingering Shade. So I would like to do that now. So let's do that real quick. Even though it's Tatiana's turn, we did not do this. Uh, keep this card while you have this card. Roll two dice at the start of your status phase. It is in nine. Uh, I will take my turn as normal. So I discard this card by enter the catacombs or exit the dungeon. So it might be a good idea to actually enter the catacombs with Crutzbeck if I can. Okay, we are back to um, Tatiana's turn. She currently has a torch that's out. Uh, so she needs to test her luck, which is a six. Um, she got a four, so she passed. That's excellent. So uh, her torch is relit. Um, if you succeed, you relight your torch. Take your turn as normal. So there we go. And she'll draw a catacomb card. A horde of rats. You are overwhelmed by a horde of venomous rats. Test armor. If you fail, suffer four wounds. All right, so her armor is a four. Um, she failed, so she gets a determination token and four wounds. So she's currently at three plus four will be seven. So take away one and add a five. So she is half half dead already. And uh, we will move on to uh, Talara. Who is, um, oh yeah, right here. I was getting confused looking at that uh, mini. All right, so Chalara's in the catacombs as well. Um, she finds another empty room. And then on to Crutzbeck, who decided not to cross that bridge. So he is just going to move here. And that will end his turn. Um... Hugo is up there now, so he will move. Um, what's Hugo's agility? A five, so the chances of crossing the bridge are not great. Um, he's going to go ahead and move here. And his turn, back to Tatiana. Who's going to draw a catacomb card? Uh, nothing to test. Oh, I did it again on... <laughs> On the dwarf's turn. Chris Beck's turn. I forgot to roll for the lingering shade. So he rolled a five. So he's fine. So that was coming back to him. So got to remember that. He moved one. That was his turn. We're back to Chris Beck. Let's roll on the lingering shade again. He's okay. Um, and he's going to move this way. Oops, I grabbed two tiles by accident. Alright. And a dungeon card for Crutzbeck. Uh, his torch goes out. Keep this card while you have this card. Test luck at the start of your status phase. If you succeed, you relight your torch. So he's got two things to roll on now. He's got a lingering shade, and now his torch is out. He is just... <laughs> he's It's like a horror movie. <laughs> um, on to Hugo. Uh, yes, Hugo is going to... I think just move here. And back to Tatiana, who's in the catacombs still. Sorcerer's Bolt. A sorcerer hurls the magic bolt in your direction. Test luck. See, her luck is a six. An eight, she failed, so she gets a determination token. Uh, yeah. 
If you succeed on your turn, if you fail, suffer a number of wounds equal to the amount by which you failed. So she failed by two. I could use the determination tokens to change that. No, I'll just take the two for now. So she's at nine. I need to get out of those catacombs, I think. On to uh, Chalara. Uh, razor wing attack. Roll one die and suffer a number of wounds equal to the result. Three wounds. All right. To Krutzbeck. So first he's going to roll on the lingering shade. Uh, two to three, you die. Okay, that was a close one. <laughs> uh, and his torch is out, so he's gonna roll on luck, which is a four. Uh, he got a five. Uh, he will spend his one determination token to make that a four and succeed. So his torch is no longer out. So he will continue on this way oh nice a corridor so he'll get to take another turn he'll go here oh and a dead end bummer all right he's going to draw a dungeon card hidden trap Draw a trap card. Poisonous snakes. Roll one die and suffer the amount of wounds equal to the result. Five wounds. Ow. That puts Kretzbeck at 14 and his uh, health is 20. So that's not good. Over to Hugo. Um, he will now go this way. Uh, he got a corridor as well. So he's going to continue on to here. And find another corridor. And he's going to continue on to here. a turn dungeon card empty and on to Tatiana she's now uh, looking to get out of the catacombs uh, if she can exit <laughs> you have found a way out you immediately exit the catacombs so look at that she has exited the catacombs let's take all these One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I'm going to check real quick. I don't know if I count the exit one, including the card just drawn. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So just pointing this way, she's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A little further than she wanted. Um, and then I'm going to turn that way and I'm gonna go four spaces one two three four I'm gonna pop up out of the catacombs and explore tile and it is a room Dungeon card. Oh, she pops up into an ambush. Encounter a monster. All right, so Tatiana has nine damage. Let's roll over to the fight scene. Tatiana will be fighting a 
skeleton. So that's good. It's got no escape penalty, so she could just try to escape. So let's start combat. So I have to do the first round of combat, and then I could try to escape. Uh, this is one kind of disadvantage, I guess, of playing solo, is I know what the escape penalty is of the skeleton. Normally you wouldn't know that. Um, so I know it's a zero, so trying to escape will probably be a good thing since my um, agility is a nine. Uh, but we have to do the first round of combat. So I'm going to lay out um, some heroic magic. And my three sided die. We got a three, so that's a uh, ranged. So I deal one damage and I don't take any. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to try to escape now. So I swung, threw some magic at the skeleton, and he threw up a smoke screen in his face. And six, seven, eight to my nine agility. I do escape, so I'm gonna move here. I'm gonna put a monster. I believe I put a monster token here, and then that will. Oops. I should go back here. So I moved up here. I put a monster token there. I believe that's what I do. Um, it didn't specifically say that in the in the rules after escaping, but. Um, I do think I read that somewhere. Yeah. So, if the monster is killed, the token is removed. If not, it remains there. So, I need to pull a tile for Tatiana since she escaped and moved. Uh, hey, it's more catacombs. And she will draw another dungeon card. Razor wing attack, roll one die and suffer that amount of wounds. Wounds. Three more wounds. So she's at nine, that'll put her at 12. So let me take these two and get her another five. So she's almost dead. Two more hits and she's gonzo. Um, we move on to Chalara. Uh, her torch goes out. <laughs> so now her torch is out. I will move on to Kretzbeck, who's also hurting pretty bad. Um, and he's going to search this room, hopefully maybe find a secret door. Um, let's see. Secret door, look at that. You may immediately move to any adjacent space. If the space is unexplored, place a combat a chamber tile as normal. If you encounter a monster, you cannot escape. Alright. Oops, that's the search deck. Um, he's gonna go this way. And he found a secret door. Nice. Um, dungeon deck. Dead adventurer. You may loot the body for treasure. If you choose to do so, draw one corpse card. You know what? He's had enough bad luck. He's not going to search anything. He just wants to get to that, um, that dragon's lair there. So we will move on to Hugo the Glorious. Oh, didn't roll on his lingering shade. He's still alive. Okay. Um, Hugo the Glorious. Let's see. He is going to... I don't know if he should try to make it to that centerpiece or just keep searching. Um, you know, he's just going to move here and see what's what. It's a rotating room. Which is going to rotate this way. Um, huh. 
I think he's trapped. <laughs> uh, all right, up to Tatiana. She's right here. She's going to continue this way. She's got some spider webs. Let me read what webs do real fast. Remind all of us. Um, immediately move again, ignoring doors and port closes. If you exit through any other hall than the hall you entered, test strength. If you succeed, exit the chamber normally. If you fail, end your turn. If you begin your turn here, you must successfully test strength before you can move. All right, well, she's going to try to move up here. So let's test her strength, which is a four. She's got two determination tokens. She rolled an eight, so she fails, but she gets a determination token. Um, and that'll move us to Chalora. She's got a test torch. Her luck's a seven. All right, she lights her torch and continues her turn. So she'll draw another card. Horde of Rats. You are overwhelmed. You suffer four wounds. Uh, let's see. That'll put her at eight. So I'll take one of those. And put one of those there. She's getting pretty close to dying, too. She can defeat a monster and heal all of her wounds. Oh, that's risky. Chris Beck. Let's roll on his Lingering Shade. Oh no! Oh no! Crutchbeck has died. Lingering Shade. Roll two dice at the start of your status phase. If you roll a two to three, you die. Aw. Poor Crutchbeck. He was so close to the gold. He could smell it. Aw, poor guy. The Lingering Shade finally got him. Wah, wah, wah. All right, Hugo. Um, I think your only chance is to search and try to find a secret door. Um, let's do it. Empty. Boo. So he searched. Um, what's his rune? That's for... Um, okay. It's nothing on to Tatiana. Tatiana is going to try to test strength to get through that cobweb. Her strength is four. She rolled a 10, not enough. It's another determination token. Eventually she's gonna get through there with enough determination. Um, Chalara, catacomb, she have anything to test? Nope. Treasure chest, loot. When you exit Dragonfire Dungeon, roll two dice. The chest has gold value equal to the result multiplied by 100. Ooh. That is good. Um, so this does not get added. Does this get added as a catacomb card? I guess it is still. So we'll do it like that. Um, Crutchbeck is dead. Back to Hugo, which I don't believe he can do anything. So yeah, Hugo has become trapped. He found a secret door, which was actually a secret trap. He walked through the secret door, the room rotated, and blocked him in. I think those only rotate once, right? Rotate the chamber 180 degrees and end your turn. All right, Hugo, you are just going to waste away. We're back to just Tatiana and Talara then, I guess. Um, she's going to test some strength. She got it without even having to use determination. So she's moved into the dragon chamber. 
So she's in the dragon chamber. She's going to draw from the dragon deck. Let's just shuffle this up real quick. So the dragon deck consists of eight cards. One of them is Awakening the Sleeping Dragon. The others are the dragon is sleeping and you get to draw some treasures. So let's see what Tatiana gets. Sleeping. The dragon is sleeping. Draw true two treasure cards. Uh, treasure, treasure deck. 160 gold silver ring and a giant ruby 3000. All right, Tatiana needs to get out of this dungeon. Which, um, since she got here via catacombs, maybe trying to get out this way will be her best bet. Um, another catacombs card for Chalara. Troll smash. A troll swings his mighty club directly at you. Test luck. Her luck is a seven. She's got no determination. She got it. If you succeed, end your turn. If you fail, subtract your armor value from 10. Woo! All right, she's getting a little far into the catacombs now. <laughs> um, Hugo cannot do anything. Tatiana is going to book it. She doesn't need to draw any more dragon cards. There she goes. She's got some options. Empty. That's what we'd like to see. Talara, Catacombs card. Exit. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Who's over there? Um, she's gonna roll. Two, one, two, and uh, she'll pop up right there. One, two. There we go. Dungeon card for her. Shuffle. So the shuffle card basically is just telling me to put all the discards from the dungeon deck back into the dungeon deck and reshuffle it all. And then I'll draw a new card. Empty room. All right. Hugo is still trapped. Mm-hmm. Tatiana's turn. She's like, boom. Oh, there's a dead dwarf here. I'm so sorry. And Jalara's like, oh, I gotta get some treasure. Um, yeah. She sees how much treasure Tatiana's got. She's gotta go for it. Empty. He goes trapped. Tatiana's turn. Um, she's going to try to go this way. All right. Collapsed room. Cave in. Draw a dungeon card. Let's do that first. Ceiling collapses is my dungeon card. How appropriate. The ceiling gives way. Some paths are blocked by debris, while other new paths are revealed. Rotate the chamber tile. You are in 90 degrees. Um, I'm not even going to bother to do that because it's a four-way tile. So I don't actually need to rotate it. Um, on your next turn, if you choose to exit through any other hall that is on the other side of the cave-in, test agility. 
So I have to test agility to get through here on my next turn. Um, Talar is moving there. Nice. She's got a corridor, so she gets to go again. She'll go here. Not looking too bad. <laughs> of course, as soon as I say that, an ambush. Um, so she does have the opportunity to, if she kills the monster that she's fighting, she can heal all of her wounds. Um, but she only has four health left. So let's see what she's fighting. A sorcerer. All right. Three health, four escape penalty. Well, I don't want to try to escape because I'll die. Um, so let's um, start with a ranged attack. Three, ranged against range. We each deal one to each other. And let's see. Oh, if you have eight or more wounds, your combat cards never deal more than one wound to the monster. All right, it's good to remember. She is weakened. Okay, she needs to kill this thing. But she can't deal more than one wound, so let's try some magic. A one. So magic against magic, we both suffer one. Oh man, if she can, she's at 10 of 12. If she can deal one more damage without dying, um, she can heal everything. So she needs to play a card where if the monster plays a melee, it doesn't hurt her for two. That's the only way she can get dealt two damage. So, um, I'll go back to the ranged. Goodness. One. So, monster played magic. Oh, no. <laughs> I suffered one and didn't deal any. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So, <laughs> eleven. It's all going to come down to this. Ugh. All right. Well, she looks like a magician. She's got her staff. I'm gonna rely all on my on my magic. A three. Yes. Deals one wound, suffers zero. So she has killed the sorcerer. She's killed the sorcerer, and she's going to use her life drain rune. Discard after defeating a monster in combat. Heal all of your wounds. So, bam. One wound from dying. She completely heals up. Pulls all the energy out of that sorcerer. Nice. Lead done, Chalara. Um, yeah, poor Hugo's stuck. I don't think he's just going to rot away in the dungeon. Back to Tatiana. Um, she has to test agility. Her agility is a nine. She's got it, so she can move forward. Some lucky tile pulls. Uh, razor wing attack. Roll one die. All right, so I am at 12. So unless I roll a one, 
she has died and I can't use determination token on the it's only on attribute tests uh, yeah oh she just took six wounds so Tatiana has perished with all of her stuff oh no so that really just leaves Chalara. So, you know what? She's not even going to try to get to the dungeon chamber. She's got her treasure chest. She's going to move to the corridor and then move again to here. She's going to try to get out of here before time runs out. Hugo can't do anything. Back to Chalara. Um, she'll move this way. Hugo's done. Chalara. She will go this way. in a race to finish spider webs oh that might slow her down so she gets to go again but she's got a test strength which is a five nope but she gets some determination so race against the clock now nope Hugo's done an eight nope <laughs> come on Tatiana or no Chalara there she goes a five she did it without even having to use determination she breaks through um Sure, I'll go that way. Oh, nice. She's at full health. Crypt. You may explore the crypt for trip. No way. She's going to keep on moving. Um, poor Hugo. I feel so bad for you, buddy. Uh, yep, yeah, she's just going to move here and hope for a good, good tile. No! That is the bottomless pit. Test luck. If you succeed, end your turn. If you fail, you die. Her luck is a seven. She's got three determination tokens. She has passed. If you pass, continue your turn. Is that what it said? Oh, end your turn. All right. Oh, what to do? She's going to move back here. Oh, no. She's not going to be able to get out. Um, she's going to search and hope to find a secret door. Um, search deck. Secret door! You may immediately move to an adjacent space. If the space is unexplored, place a chamber there. If you encounter a monster, blah, blah, blah. Oh, my goodness. How exciting. So she finds a secret door over to here. It's already explored. She doesn't have to do anything. And she will exit the dungeon just as the sun is going down with four turns left. And poor Hugo. Burp, 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 ah, dies trapped in the dungeon. And, and Chalara finishes with 400 gold. She is the winner. That was Dungeon Quest. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, super fun game. Really fun playing with four characters. A little hard to keep track of um, what everybody has. Uh, 
but a ton of fun. Hopefully I played everything right that time. I don't know when I rewatch it, I will know for sure. Um, but yeah, that was some exciting stuff. Uh, Chalar barely made it out. Uh, I can't believe she pulled a secret door. The only two um, search cards we drew were secret door cards, um, which is cool. I don't even know how many secret door cards are in here. Oh, there's quite a few. So chances are pretty good you're going to draw one. So that's good to know for future games. Um, the only decks, uh, I think we saw every deck at least once. Maybe not the Crypt deck, but it's basically the same as the Corpse deck. Um, there's good stuff and bad stuff. Um, there are traps that can kill you instantly, um, like the Bottomless Pit. When I pulled that Bottomless Pit, my stomach went into a Bottomless Pit. I was like, no! Um, but luckily she had earned all those Determination Tokens towards the end there, so um, I was pretty confident she, unless she rolled an 11 or 12, she was not going to die. Um... Of course, Krutzbeck died by rolling a three with the lingering shade. So, yeah, game was fun. If you want to see more of that, let me know. Otherwise, uh, I will put something else on the table next. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.